What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and today I am bringing you Superflight. Superflight is a super fun game that I've really been enjoying playing. I saw a video for it somewhere, and I said, this looks awesome. I got it on the Steam store. I've been playing it. I've really been enjoying it. It's very challenging, yet very relaxing and fun at the same time. And I think they found the perfect mixture here for this game. So one of the things I wanted to do here is I wanted to show you there's actually a fair amount of uh, visual tweaks that you can apply to the game. Uh, audio, there's a little bit with wind, scoring, effects. So that's really neat. They've got lots of options there. And gameplay-wise, you can tweak the sensitivity. One joystick controls everything in this game. It is awesome. And the goal of the game is to get high scores by flying as close to different environmental items as you can, especially <laughs> not running into things like that. Um, especially flying through uh, tight spaces. That will give you a huge score bonus. Like that. And it is such a rush. <laughs> and very fun too. So, um, one of the things I wanted to do is I thought this is the kind of game where it's a lot of fun to try and get other people on board making videos of their awesome streaks and... Uh, Let's see, I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to focus here. I'm going to thread the needle. I'm going to come down. I'm going to make it. <laughs> I'm going to bring it around. Now, there's a couple of things that are key for this game. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. If you go down low enough, you will start to find these little warp gates. And the warp gates will take you to a new level and continue your score streak which is the key for getting high up on the leaderboards. So here we go. I'm going down. Oh, oh, so close. So my current score there was 7,782. My highest score thus far is 17,000, which gave me a ranking in the uh, very high 3,000s, almost 4,000 on the, uh, the leaderboards. So... One of the things I like too is if you enjoy the map you're playing on, you can save the current map or you can create a map. And you can create a map by typing in whatever you want. So let's do e electric uh, productions and hit play. And let's explore the map that it generates based off that. Oh, I immediately regret my decision of taking the high route there. Oh, almost, almost. So the thing that's so fun about this game um, is just you create the challenge and difficulty for yourself. You can opt to take the easy road or the hard road. And if you go the hard route, you can be rewarded with some awesome bonuses. And look, here we go, right here. Look at that. That is awesome. So right away I'm seeing... <laughs> there's no exit from there at all. Oh, Looks like there's some cool stuff to fly through here, though. You cannot be indecisive in this game. If for one moment you're thinking, should I do this, should I do that? Ah, oh, I'm not sure what to do. It's too late. I thought maybe I could pull up and get through that space. And make no mistake, I mean, watching this is going to be so, so as far as uh, fun. Because you're going to be like, oh, I would have gone left, I would have gone right. Um, but finding a route that's challenging and then trying to, to beat that route that you create for yourself. That's where the fun's at in this game. Um, so what I was thinking about doing is I thought about on the Steam page making... This game's like $2. Like, seriously, it's like 2 bucks. Uh, it's super cheap, and uh, I'd say the replay value is extremely high, especially if this is the kind of thing that you enjoy doing. Um, if this is a kind of game that appeals to you, then there is no excuse not to get this and support the dev team. They've created something really special here. And uh, yeah, this is the kind of game to get on board with and to support. But what I wanted to do is create on the Steam discussion page for this game a thread where we could upload videos of some of like the most amazing runs. If you just if you've been practicing and you pull off that that one run that you've just been trying to nail and it gets you like a really good uh, score bonus and you just want to show everybody else, then we can use that discussion page. Ah man to go ahead and post those videos. And I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think we could come up with some 
I did that before, too. Man, I'm a glutton for punishment here. All right, we're going to take the low road. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know if there's an out of here or not. We're about to find out. Are you guys seeing that? I mean, that feeling when you, like, you dive into these these crevices, these canyons, these gorges, you have no idea what's on the other side. None. You're diving in, and you may fail so hard, and it's just, you just go for it. And then when you manage to pull out of there alive and, you know, unscathed, like I'm about to not do <laughs> right here, it's such a good feeling. It is a rush. And I play a lot of games, guys. I mean, I review a lot of games, and it's these... These days, gaming is in sort of a slump. At least it feels like a slump. Maybe it's just because I play so much. Oh, that hurt. Uh, but this this is where gaming's at. This is what gaming's all about. This is gaming incarnate. It's, it's taking a simple concept and cranking it up to 11 and saying, okay, now you guys, uh, we, we created the structure that you guys make the game. The game is you challenging yourself. And I love it. I love it. This is what this is what gaming is supposed to be about. And when I'm having a run like this, like right here, right now, where it's just everything is just lining up and working perfectly, it feels so good. I don't even know what my score is right now. It doesn't even matter. Going through a portal. Um, so I don't know if I already said it. I think I did. Uh, but one of the things that you can do... Let me see if I can actually... Can I go... Uh oh, I regret this, I regret this. Ah, man, barely clipped it. Anyway, sorry, if you go straight down, so watch, I'll, I'll show you guys. I mean, I'll probably end up crashing out here because it looks pretty solid down here. Yeah, no, I'm gonna... All right, one more time, here we go. So watch, if you just go straight down, you will hit the bottom of the map. And when you, and that's without the portal. So watch, it's gonna start to gray out and then you, you blackout so to speak and you can keep doing that so one of the ways if you're just trying to get a high score one of the techniques that I figured out here for getting a high score is give yourself just a little bit of challenge um, like don't do anything too risky or too dangerous kind of stick to the, the sure things the the locations you know you can make uh, make it through without crashing and then just get all the way down to the bottom and your score will continue to uh, compound and compile but as soon as you do stuff like I'm doing right here where I didn't know if I could get out of here alive I still don't it's not looking too good your character will lose momentum as well so I'm sitting here I'm just racking them up in fact I might be able to make it to this portal Okay. And I've come through the portal already with lowered momentum. So you can kind of stall out almost. Oh, this is a mistake. <laughs> but it feels so good when you make it. Oh no! Oh, I'm done! <laughs> so I got 13,000. So I was getting pretty close to rivaling my, my personal high score thus far. That's it. That's the game. I mean, there's nothing else to really share. I've told you my couple tips, tricks, and techniques. Um, you know, if you're trying to get a high score, go for more of the sure things. Don't risk it too much. And then just keep working your way down um, where you can either find one of those portals lower in the level or just, you know, gray out and go on to a new location. And you can just keep... Whoa! Whoa! That will happen sometimes. I have had before where I have come out of one of those, uh, you know, graying out or blacking out or I don't know what they call it. And uh, I I've literally come out of it into a... Oh, yes. Into a wall. Like, it just, I, I don't know if they do that just to keep people from doing what I'm doing, which is just sort of abusing the... Um, Gosh, I don't even know what to call it. But whatever it is when you get to the bottom of the level. Nope, that was it. So, yeah, um, what I'll do is is I'm going to name the uh, the thread the dis in the discussion page, on the discussion page on Steam. I'm just going to name it E-Electric Production. Um, what do you guys want to call it? Just uh, Hot Clips? <laughs> um, let's see awesome runs um threading the needle 
Um, I, I don't know. I don't care. You guys let me know in the comment section below, and I can always change the, the title of it. Uh, for right now, it'll just be E-Electric Production. Um, hot Clips. I don't know. Gosh, I'm coming. In. I'm drawing a blank here. This is where I need your guys' help. Oh. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to back out to maps here, and I'm going to create a new map. Let's get rid of the electric productions. And let's do uh, hot, hot clip. Oh, that's awesome. I like the color scheme here. These kind of levels offer a lot um, of opportunities. Oh, it's actually kind of hard to see in this one because the grays and the white and the background all start like blending together. No, I love it, though. Um, seriously, devs, you guys have struck gold here. And the controls are very tight. Most of the time when I'm failing, it's because um, I suck. <laughs> no, it's because I know what my character is capable of pulling off and what he's not capable of pulling off. And I'm, I'm pushing him harder than I should. Or I'm putting him in a position that he can't recover from in time or it's 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 me it's not the controls i mean every once in a while i'm like oh man i feel like i should have been able to to pull that off but i can live i can live with those little moments here and there where i'm doing pretty good on this one let's let's go to the portal here let's gain some speed and we're going right through. We're going right through here. And we're going right through here now. It's it's just absolutely mesmerizing to play this. Those moments when you're just rushing along a cliff face, you just feel... I don't know, it's pretty sad to me when Destiny 2 can't give me like the feels that I get when I play this game. Like... Oh, I've, I have messed up. I have now messed up. <laughs> oh, it's so heart-wrenching, too, when you're doing... Oh, look, at the bottom, the achievement. Getting greedy, it said. And, and they're right. You're like, ah, I, I, I can do it. You start getting overconfident in your skill. And, uh, yeah, you start getting, like... Start getting greedy. I can do it. I can make it. Oh, I'm sure there's a way out of this. You start feeling like you're invincible. And uh, next thing you know, you're you're <laughs> you're crashing out like hard because you bit off a little more than you can chew. It was it was a little tougher than it, it first looked. The levels are not very big; they're smaller than they appear. If I was to go to the right there, I wouldn't be able to probably reach those locations. Like I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, it, it's turning me back. Um, so it gives the illusion that the levels are bigger, which I'm fine with. Please don't, please don't take that as like a major complaint on my part, uh, because I'm, I'm not complaining. I see something. <laughs> That's. Whoa! I lost a lot of momentum there, and my character almost just ate it. This game is way more fun than it deserves to be. And I'm not... That, that sounds like I'm being mean, but I'm not. Like, it's just... It's so simple, but it is so much fun. It's like being on a not-safe roller coaster. I mean, that's that's what it feels like. It's, it's like being on a roller coaster where you don't know if the next turn is going to lead into the side of a mountain. You know, you're, you're, you're sitting there hoping for the best, but can you imagine getting on a roller coaster that you didn't know if it was safe or not? Oh, that was this was a mistake. I almost made it though. I almost made it. I almost had it. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> if 
If you guys like what you're seeing here, if this looks like fun to you, then I guarantee you, you're going to love it. Because it is just as much fun as it appears to be, if not, if not more so. Um, because it's one thing to watch somebody, um, it's another to be in control and to be... And to be that close to like hitting a higher score or breaking your own high score. And you know, I'm not typically a person that I'm not somebody who usually cares too much for uh, busting my own high score or high scores or leaderboards or, or any of that stuff. Um, it doesn't usually do a whole lot for me. This game is changing that, like seriously. Like I am shocked and surprised how much I'm interested in trying to beat my my last high score or whatever. It's gonna end with tears. Yeah. You do lose momentum, um, especially when you go places where there's not wind, which, I mean, you're using a wingsuit, so I get it, um, but sometimes it'll kind of sneak up on you. That was just me sucking. Sometimes it'll sneak up on you and surprise you. You'll be like, okay, you know, like, I got, I've got good momentum, I'm good, I'll be fine, and then, nah, you're, you're out of steam and you're, you're crashing. Seriously, if you guys can think of a good name, though, for uh, that discussion topic um, on Steam for this, then let me know in the comment section below. Actually, I thought the portal was in front of there. I have terrible depth perception. <laughs> I got no excuse. Uh, it was just me being pretty lousy. You will get better, too. Don't be discouraged at first if the game is, like really difficult um, because at first you will feel probably like okay well like this is fun and all but <laughs> what's the point and then you'll start getting better and you'll start pulling off amazing maneuvers and you'll be like now I get it now I understand I'm sure you're watching this at times thinking like what what, what exactly were you thinking right there? Like, did you really think there was an opening? Okay guys, so I've just been messing around and I was still recording and thus far I have now beat my own high score. And I don't like what happens to this game when I actually start doing well because I turn into a total and complete wimp. Um, I stop trying to challenge myself and instead... <laughs> Okay, so my new high score, I'm into the low 3,000, which I'm happy with. Um, <laughs> but anyway, when I start doing well, I turn it to a total wimp, and I'm like just kind of going circles around the level, just barely racking up more points. That's not the way to play this game. This game is meant to be played balls to the walls, all out. Go for it. Go for broke. Um, but yeah. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys, and watching this video. I really appreciate it. Head on over to Steam and make sure that you... Um, post your your gameplay um, of playing this get your get your threading the needle up there um, create a map here and uh, huh? 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 <laughs> I'm a jerk oh that's pretty dark actually never mind maybe don't subscribe and like because this is like the worst level I've seen thus far in the game um, but 
Oh, snap. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. And until then, game on, everyone.